For watching this video if this is your first time in my channel or is this my first if this is your first time you're coming across my youtube channel my name is divine edward and i post sewing tutorials weekly so if that's what you would like is that the content you would like to be seen on your youtube page when you scroll please make sure to subscribe and also make sure to give this video a thumbs up okay so in this tutorial we're just going to be making a shirt dress I came across this design on Pinterest, so I do, do not know the original designer of this dress. Then I came across the combination on Pinterest. <laughs> I came across the combination of the Ankara on um, the Ankara fabric on Pinterest, so I do not know who um, invented the combination, but I felt that the combination would go very, very well with the design. So that's why I quickly went to the market to search for that the same Ankara fabric I saw on the picture and used it on mine. So I'm not the um, person who invented the combination. I think the combination is now trendy. By the time I saw it, it was not trendy, but I think it's now trendy. So I divided the video into two. We have the sewing and we have the pattern drafting. So if you're watching this video now, this is the pattern drafting tutorial. You have the color. I didn't draft the color in this tutorial, so I'm going to be drafting the color in the sewing tutorial. So if that's not what you want to miss, please make sure to turn on your post notifications. So guys, I don't want to really talk too much because I'm tired and I'm working on a new project. So I'm going to be uploading that soon. And so that you guys will know, I'm going back to school. So I am currently a student of the um, Uniben, that's University of Benin. So I'm going back to school. So for some time, I will really be active on my YouTube channel based on I have exams and stuff like that. So here I already have my body's block drafted. And this is the fabric I'm going to be using for this um, tutorial. Here I have three yards of this beautiful Ankara print fabric. And I'm also going to be mixing it with this green fabric that i have right here is going to form the gathers at the bottom of the dress okay so yeah i already have my body's block drafted and you can see that this body's block has a bust that so in case you do not know how to draft the body's block with a bust that i'll leave a link in the description below it's not my tutorial but she uses exactly like my pattern so yeah i already um, wrote down my plans i had to do some research so that i can give you guys the right information on how to draft this dress so let's get started so yeah right here i have my waistline and this is my center front and i added three inches for my center front and that is going to um, be for my buttons because this is a shirt dress so we are going to need buttons so this three inches is for the buttons are going to be at the center front so now from the waistline i'm going to mark out the length of this dress and i'm going to be going with 13.5 inches you can make your shorter or longer and whatever measurement i have on my hip line i'm going to place it on my hem line and i'm going to connect to my hip line so now my waist that i'm going to redraw it all the way to the hem line like so and this is my what we call a bust point in case you don't know what the bust point is that is your shoulder to nipple measurement so you're going to redraw your bust that to your bust point if you haven't and also redraw your waist that to your bust point okay guys now i'm going to be slashing through this line all the way to the bust point and i'm also going to slash one leg of my um, bust that all the way to my bust point and now I'm going to close the bust that and use my tape to hold the bust that down and you can see the effect of what our bust that gave us you can see the excess it gave us here you can also use a pattern with a shoulder that instead of a bust that so anyone that works for you so now i'm going to place my body's um, block on a new pattern paper so you can see that i place it on a new pattern paper and i'm going to measure what the excess i have here at the bottom and here i have six inches so in case you guys didn't see it i measured the distance i had there and i have six inches and i'm going to divide it by two so i divided the result by two 
and i got three inches and i'm going to be placing that at the side of my um block that's the um, side front so i hope you guys understood so i divided by two i got three inches so i'm going to extend my hemline at the side by three inches so here i'm marking down three inches So now what you're going to do next is this is my underarm that is where your armhole ends and this is my waistline you're going to find the midpoint between your underarm and your waistline so here i mark down the midpoint and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in by 0 0.5 inches note that this is optional if you notice that doing this is going to make your garment tighter please skip through this point um step i'm sorry skip through this step but i went in by 0 0.5 inches i'm going to connect this back to my underarm and then from this point here i'm going to connect it to that extension i made on my hem line over here So now after doing this, since we don't need this part anymore, we remember that we went in by 0 0.5 inches. So I'm just going to be cutting it off since we do not need it anymore. So next, all you just have to do is trace this part on your new pattern paper. And the next step is to blend your hemline. Like so, just trace it just like the way I am doing it over here in the video. Also make sure to trace your 3 inches for your buttons. And this is it so what i'm doing here is that i'm just tracing this block on my new pattern paper then after tracing i can unpin and use my black market marker sorry to finish the rest and that's just it for our front block remember your three inches for your button and that's it so this is what i have here you can see i've traced it and that was it it was super easy so i at the hem i added 0 0.5 inches because we're going to be adding the gathers then at the side i decided to use one inch you can use whatever inches you want or whatever allowance you want at the armhole i use 0 0.5 inches shoulder i use 0 0.5 inches and the neckline i use 0 0.5 inches then remember this three inches is for the buttons we're going to be adding so now we're going to be working on the back bodies and here i have back and this back bodies we're going to be needing what we call our shoulder that our back shoulder that and you can see here that i do not have that on my pattern because i assume most of you don't have that on your pattern so i'm going to teach you how to do that so to do this you're going to extend your shoulder by 0 0.5 inches so i added 0 0.5 inches to my shoulder then i'm just going to take my french curve or you can use your armhole curve and connect this i'll blend it back to your armhole like so now after doing that you're going to find the midpoint of your shoulder so you're going to find the midpoint of your shoulder and this here is my the midpoint of my shoulder then you're just going to extend that line please when extending the line make sure to draw it towards your bust point you're going to come down two inches the length of the line is two inches and you're just going to draw a slant line please make sure that it's, it's following the direction of your bust point and then mark 0 0.25 inches on both sides and connect to the dart leg so you can see i made my correction like i said make sure that your slant line is going towards your bust point and you can see that i made that error so you're going to draw your dart leg upwards like this and make sure that your slant line is going towards that direction you can see it here so that's what i did here i drew it all the way to this point here and i marked 0 0.25 inches on both sides and i connected so uh, remember the length of the dots is two inches and that's what i did so i hope i didn't confuse you guys please if i did don't hesitate to ask questions make sure to draw your um waist that to that point and also make sure to draw your shoulder that to that point so please if you don't know where this line is this is where our yoke is going to start from and that is the middle of your armhole or it's also called your across back line so also make sure to draw your waist that all the way to your hemline just like we did for the front so now i'm just slashing through my waist that all the way to the across back line and 
um, also going to make sure to not slash it through but so please don't make sure to slash everything then i'm also going to open up my shoulder that all the way to the across back line and i'm going to close my shoulder that so i'm going to close my shoulder that use my tape to hold it down so this is going to be our yoke remember the bodies have yoke and we're going to be um this is our center back here which we're going to be cutting on fold and we're going to be extending our center back from where our yoke is going to end so remember the yoke is ending at the midpoint of our armhole or where your across back is and we're going to be extending our center back by six inches why are we extending the center back because this is going to have gathers so we're going we're supposed to uh, like extend it so i use six inches you can use five inches you can use six inches depending on how much gathers you want so i use six inches so this is going to be for our gathers and this is going to be cut on fold so this is going to be our yoke and our yoke is also going to be cut on fold and that's it. So we're going to be adding 0 0.5 inches of allowance at the bottom and at the top so that we can join the yoke to the bodies. So now I here I have a new pattern paper and I'm going to place my back bodies on the new pattern paper just like we did for the front. But before doing that, I'm just going to cut off the excess papers which I have on my bodies. And I also cut off the yoke and I'm going to be keeping the yoke aside. Remember that we're cutting the yoke on fold. So I'm just cutting off the excess paper and I drew a horizontal line at the side and I'm going to place the um, center back on that horizontal line just so that it can be straight so that we can place our pattern body straight. So now we are to extend or spread this line. So please pay attention. Do not overspread it. Because if you overspread it, you you, you um, see that there's a bulge in here or you see that the line is not straight. So you have to make sure the line is straight. So you can see here the way I extended it, the line at that upper part is straight and this is okay. So now you're going to measure the distance in which you have here. And whatever results you get, you're going to add it to your side back. That is where your hemline at the side so i have three inches so i'm going to be extending by three inches like the front remember that we extended we um divided it by two but the back we didn't divide it by two because the excess is not much so you'll find the midpoint between your underarm and your waistline just like you did for the front i are going to come in by 0 0.5 inches they are just going to connect this back to your underarm so we have done this before so i'm just going to um, um fast forward the process after this so remember to connect these points back to your underarm like so and connect the point all the way um to that three inches extensions which that three inches extension which we made yours might not be three inches depending on how many how much you have after you um, spread it so i'm just going to fast forward the process after this because we, we should already know what to do <laughs> the line that we have over here it was a very big mistake remember that um i drew a horizontal line just so that um, i can place the center back of my pattern there but i realized my paper was not wide enough so i had to move it to the edge so this line was a mistake So guys that is it for our back bodies here i have the yoke and here i have the back you can see that it was very very super easy and very very super short so yeah i also have my front bodies and that's it for this tutorial guys thank you so much for, to those of you that um, stuck with me to the end and if you notice that i didn't draft the shirt color i'm going to be doing that in the sewing tutorial so the next tutorial we're going to be drafting the color sewing the um, dress and also attaching the color and if you don't want to miss that please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe so guys see you next time in the next tutorial